Hey everyone, I wanted to show you a quick hack for these Ivar cabinets. Um, even when they are adjusted all the way in, there still tends to be a gap between the door. And the main adjustment for that is here, you loosen this, then you tighten that one all the way in and it'll bring the doors as close to um, the inside as possible. But it's not close enough to really get that gap tight. So let me show you a uh, inexpensive way to fix that. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is loosen these and go ahead and take off the door completely. We're gonna to need to take off the hinges because we're gonna put a buffer behind it. I'll give you a picture of what we're gonna put behind it here in just a second. So an inexpensive option that I came up with to put behind the actual hinge mounts is these heavy duty felt pads. We'll use one of the one and a half inches and one of the three quarters. We're basically going to stick them, the one and a half here on the front, the three quarter on the back, and we'll mount the hinge over top of it. I'll show you what that looks like. So with these stuck on, a couple things you wanna make note, um, they have an adhesive back. So make sure this front one doesn't cross the front edge and that you're just far enough to leave these screw holes open and then the back one here. So with the hinges back in place, you'll see it creates a little bit of a gap that brings the door in that wasn't there previously. So with that, we can go ahead and get the door remounted. One thing that you'll wanna keep in mind is you can probably we loosen that screw some because now that you have the gap up here it's going to bring it in quite a bit so that you're not going to need it um, quite as far set in now i'll show you what the final product looks like so with the felt pads installed on all four bumpers as i mentioned you can screw these out since we won't need to have quite the offset but what it'll do is bring these doors in a much closer alignment so that you don't have to worry about having that that huge gap in there so this is what I found um, for a particularly useful and inexpensive hack to get these cabinet doors a little bit close together. Feel free to comment below if this is something that helped you out or if you have any questions. And I uh, hope it's something that you can make work. These felt pads are uh, readily available. Lowe's Home Depot pretty much everywhere has one variant of them or another. And really, as you can see from the um, type of pad, we just want to make sure that there's something that supports both the back and front of that bracket. So you could just easily use like a, a square shape or even ones that you cut into a shape. You just have to be able to leave room to get those screws in. Otherwise, enjoy.